Welcome to our second session in the review of human resource accounting. Today we'll be looking at topic number two, which is developing programs for a result-based approach. We have divided this topic into two sections. The first section we'll be covering today and the second se section we'll be covering in the next session. Today, the questions that we want to look at under these topics include question number one, what is the purpose of measurement and evaluation? Number two, we'll be looking at the various guidelines to developing a program for a result-based approach. Then we will also be looking at the importance of measurement. We'll try to ask and answer questions. Why is measurement very important in human resource management today? Number four, we will also be looking at the value and the importance of evaluation. And lastly, we will look at the various human resource evaluation myths that exist and that makes it important, impossible or difficult for us to implement measurement in human resource accounting. Starting with our objective number one for the session, which is the purpose of measurement and evaluation. We start this by emphasizing that the aim of every organization is to achieve some results based on a well-founded philosophy of the organization, a well-founded aim of the organization, which in many organizations is profit maximization. Our primary focus, therefore, would be on how we should be able to ensure efficiency and effectiveness through human resource accounting, through the use of data, and through the use of analytics that are generated from that particular framework. Therefore, we'll be answering the questions, how, what, why, and who should be involved in this process of human resource accounting and how this will help us to be able to drive or to make important decisions in human resource accounting or in human resource functions through the application and the use of human resource accounting and then followed thereafter by human resource metrics that are generated on the back of the human resource accounting data. And finally, also trying to get the value of HR analytics, again drawn from the human resource accounting data. Our second objective for today then would be, how then do we have proper guidelines that help us to be able to develop and institute a proper result-based approach in the organization. There are six important guidelines that we should be able to observe anytime we are thinking about developing program for implementation and with the focus of results in our organization. The first thing that we should look at is establishing or developing an intervention framework. By this, we mean that in the program that we are developing, we should be able to undertake a thorough review of the organization's mission, organization's vision, goal, and objective to ensure that the program that we are developing supports in achieving those missions, those goals, and those objectives. Secondly, we'll be looking at the relationship framework with the stakeholders with regards to the programs that we are developing. 
Next, we'll be looking at designing a risk management program plan or program. Because every program that we implement within the organization embodies some elements of risk. So the question will be, how do we ensure that the programs that we develop and implement are risk-free? The fourth item is establishing a review plan. And here we'll be trying to ask the question of how will we review the programs that we want to implement to achieve the, a certain results. Number five, we'll be talking about how do we develop a performance measurement and reporting framework. Every stakeholder in the organization involved in a program should get some feedback to be able to ascertain whether the program has actually added value to them or not. And lastly, on the guidelines, we'll also be looking at the stakeholders' involvement in performance appraisals. How do you evaluate or how do you review the performance of those particular programs? The next, we will look at the importance of measurement. And we learn to answer the question, like what then is measurement? Measurement can simply be defined as a process of collecting information or data in numerical form and also in quantitative form. And therefore, here we have the discussion of both the quantitative and the qualitative data. We will also be looking at the features that we can be able to look at that makes measurement a very key thing in human resource accounting. Then we'll answer the question, why is measurement important? And here, in understanding the importance of measurement first, we see that measurement enables us to place activities within the organization, tasks and roles. Measurement also helps us to be in a position to make unbiased judgment when we are implementing results, because we are able to compare the output of the various analyses that we are undertaking. Measurements also facilitate research and development because when you are undertaking measurements, you're able to identify gaps and therefore be able to undertake a research to cover those particular gaps. Also, measurements help in accountability. It helps us to be able to make predictions and also be able to identify the gaps that arise within a program. The next important thing that we were to look at today is evaluation. And the question here is, what is evaluation? Evaluation can be defined as a systematic process of reviewing or assessing the goals or the objectives that were set before program implementation and how those particular objectives are being achieved with the program. This brings us then to answer the question, why is evaluation important? And here we get the importance of evaluation drawing from its dependence with measurements. And therefore we can say that evaluation helps an organization to determine the investment need of a particular program. It also helps in improving the effectiveness of the resource of human resource through identification of gaps. It also helps to identify and align human resource needs of an organization and lastly it also helps in supporting decision making in an organization to achieve effectiveness within the organization lastly today we want to understand the human resource evaluation myth and the question here is what is a, a myth a myth is a belief that has been held over a period of time and human resource management, like any human environment, has been engulfed by a number of myths that has made it difficult to execute certain responsibilities and tasks within human resource management. And some of these myths include it is impossible to measure, there are too many things that need to be measured in human resource, some include perception that it is too expensive to measure, human resource, it is time consuming, there is nobody who needs that particular evaluation. In our next session, we'll be looking 
at the second part of this topic where we'll be covering the various levels of evaluation, the role of attitude in human resource management, and how does it affect the value of measurement. We'll also look at the value of sharing responsibility in human resource management. And finally, we'll be looking at how then do we develop a model for implementation in human resource accounting. Thank you for watching. Until next time, when we'll be covering the second session of this topic. Thank you and most welcome.